welcome to day four of Workout with Salma's seven day, seven minute challenge. I'm Salma. So today all you're gonna need is your body weight, a mat, water, and a towel if you have it handy. I'm just gonna quickly explain today's workout. So while I'm doing that, I just want you to warm up your body with some arm circles, leg kicks, jumping jacks, just to get yourself warmed up before we just jump right into the workout. All right, so today, we did this earlier on. We are gonna do seven exercises, just seven exercises. Each exercise will be one minute long. You'll get a 20, minute, a 20 second break in between that. So you'll be done in just under 10 minutes. All right, including that break time. So I am gonna set our inter interval timer. If you're not ready or you're still warming up, hit pause, okay? And then when you're warmed up, join me. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, set my timer here. And um, we are gonna go in 10 seconds, okay? And so our first exercise is a sumo squat. So it's a regular squat with your feet further apart, facing out a little bit, okay? But you're still sitting back and then squeezing your glutes when you come up, okay? So it's a wider stance and your feet are facing out a little bit more at an angle. Not all the way, but just at an angle here, okay? So coming down, squeezing those glutes when you come up, you're breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you come up. If this is too easy for you, grab a dumbbell, hold it up here, make it a goblet, sumo squat, or if you have a really heavy weight, you can hold it like this. You're still squeezing your glutes as you go up and down, okay? So we have less than 30 seconds left. That means you're more than halfway done. Make sure you continue breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good. We have 15 seconds left. Breathing in and then out. In and out. Almost done here. Really squeeze those glutes. Get as low as you can. All right, next we're doing an eccentric push up. You just need your body weight, but as I've showed you guys many times, I'm having issues with my wrist. So I'm going to use this. And an eccentric squat is you're just going to start at the top of your squat and then you're going to lower yourself down as slowly as you can. Okay? So start up here, and then you're just going to come down slowly, slowly, until you can't do it anymore, and then you can come back to the top. Okay? So I'm just going to try it on my fist, just because it does really hurt my wrist, unfortunately. Okay, so slowly hold yourself, let yourself go down, and then when you can't hold it anymore, drop to the ground, and then come back up. Okay? Up. Flat back, right? Slowly coming down. Slowly, slowly. If you find yourself dropping too fast, try it from your knees, okay, like this. Really, really try and stop yourself from coming down. Good. And you'll find as you're doing this more, you're gonna stop, start dropping faster because your body's getting tired, right? Come on, hold it, hold it. Good. So remember, do this on your feet, and if that's too hard, do it on your knees. Good, all right, so next, we are doing a kick step back. So we're gonna do this 30 seconds on each side. So kick step back is you're gonna kick with one leg, and then step back with the opposite leg and touch the ground. We'll do that for 30 seconds on one side, and then 30 on the other, ready? Let's go. So kick, step back with the opposite leg, kick. Step back, so just go slow until you get the rhythm, then you can pick up the speed, okay? Good. So you're gonna really feel this in your legs and as you speed up, your heart rate's gonna come up too. If you got this, you can add a little hop going back, okay? Five more seconds and we're gonna switch sides. Okay, switch, so now other leg, kick, step back, Touch the ground, good. Keep going, breathing out as you kick. Good, keep going. Remember, pick up the pace once you've got the movement. And we have 10 seconds, okay? Come on, let's see how many we can get in in 10 seconds. Oh, if you're falling over, make your stance a little bit wider. Okay, all right, so next, we are back on the ground into a tabletop position. Okay, so 
here like this is tabletop. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up like this so there is a space between the ground and your knees. Okay, we're gonna go in three. Good, so coming up, okay? And then if this is too easy, you can tap. So I'm, I can only do it on one side, unfortunately, because of my wrist. But, so it's alternating tap, and then the other hand. Tap, and if that's too much, just stay on your knees, hold the plank. If that gets too challenging, come down and just tap this way, okay? But I'd really like you to try and hold your tap, uh, your hover for as long as you can. So like this, and then up on your knees, okay? 30 seconds, breathing through it. If you need a tiny rest, take a tiny rest. Come on, we got 20 seconds left. And again, if this is too easy, I want you to add that tap, tap. I'm sorry, I can't demo it. Hopefully by the next challenge, it'll be better. All right, less than 10 seconds. Come on, five, breathe. And done, good job. Okay, we're already done four exercises, more than halfway through. Next, we're on the ground. We're gonna do glute bridges, okay? So coming back here, make sure there's no hole here. You can't be able to slide your hand through. Just do a little pelvic tilt so your back is flat on the ground. Hands down here, feet close to your glutes. You're gonna come up in a glute bridge. So I don't want you to touch the ground. I just want you to come close to the ground as you can and then squeeze back up, okay? So this is a constant tension glute bridge. You're never relaxing at the bottom. You're just holding that tension, squeezing your glutes at the top. Good, breathing in and then breathing out. So you're getting as close to the ground as you can without touching it, without resting your glutes. You are gonna start feeling a burn. And I can't see the watch, but I'm pretty sure we are more than halfway done. Keep going. Remember, this is it. We're just doing seven exercises for one minute each. That's really only seven minutes of work. We can do that. Good, keep breathing through it, squeezing those glutes. You are gonna feel a burn. Push through it. Good. All right, next we're gonna do a little bit of cardio. Coming up to standing, we're gonna do quick side steps. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop, all right? We're gonna go in five. And let's go, so one, two, three. One, two, three, stop. Two, three, you can bring your knee up if you want. Okay, do whatever you need to, to make it more challenging. You can go faster, shuffling, okay? And then control that movement when you stop, okay? Okay, so that's more challenging. You can do it this way. Just get through this one minute, but you don't want it to be easy, right? You want to push yourself. You want to challenge yourself. Right? It's only seven minutes, so get the most out of that seven minutes. Good. We got 20 seconds left. Breathing throughout. Good. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's push it. Get everything out of that tank. Come on. Two, three. Two, three. Good. Come on. Three, two, and one. All right, last exercise, you guys. We're gonna do some abs, some core, but standing. We're just gonna do crunches side to side. So hands here, and you're just gonna reach the inside of the elbow to the inside of your knee. All right, so catch your breath. And let's go. Good. Breathing out as you try and reach. I want you to really use those abs to crunch, okay? It's not just bringing your knee up to your elbow. You're using this here. You're contracting your ab muscles. Okay, good. Remember, this is it, your last one. Push through it. 30 seconds left. Keep going. Really trying to contract your ab muscles every time. 20 seconds. Good. We got 
about 10. Five. And done. That was it. That was so fast. You got a full body workout. You're done in seven minutes. Make sure you cool down and you stretch. If you have more time, or you just want to do a little bit more, go back to the beginning and do this circuit again. You can do it two, three, or even four times, whatever works in your allotted um, workout time. And so that's the end of day four. I will see you tomorrow for day five of my seven day, seven minute challenge.